Okay, so today we are at the old strip here in downtown Las Vegas. Maybe a slight departure from what you would normally see, all the new and exciting glitzy glamour stuff. We're going to do the old school tour. Hidden gems that were um, shared with us by some of the locals here. And behind right. us is Juan and this is the uh, Golden Gate Casino. We're going to go in and have a shrimp cocktail. Apparently they're famous for these shrimp cocktails. World famous. Yeah. So as they say. Yeah. So come along. at the Golden Gate Hotel and Casino, which happens to be one of the most historic hotels in Las Vegas. It actually opened in 1906. A little trivia for you, this location used to have world famous shrimp cocktail, but we understand they closed a the restaurant three years ago and sold their recipe to a restaurant called Seventh and Carson, which hopefully we'll make it over there because I'm really hungry for shrimp cocktail. That's the plan. to the Golden Gate. They closed the restaurant three years ago and uh, sold the recipe to a restaurant called 7th and Carson, yeah. which is right here on the corner. 99 cent shrimp cocktail. They are delicious. I'd say they're a little small though. Tummies are full from lunch. We are headed to another Las Vegas old strip icon, and that is the Hotel El Cortez. I don't know about you, prime rib for $12.95, $24.7. We're going to have to try that. El Cortez Hotel, another historic hotel and casino here in Las Vegas. And this one's really cool because it was actually built in 1941. And in 1945 was purchased by Benjamin Bugsy Siegel. And he was what, a mobster? A well-known mobster, Bubsy, Bug, Bugsy Siegel. Don't whack me for mispronouncing your name. And this hotel is known for being pure vintage Las Vegas from the color of the doors to the wallpaper to the wood fixtures throughout. It's, it's pretty iconic.
Drew Johnson Luck. The little perch we were on was um, invaded. The most popular place. We were the only ones there for the longest time, and then once we started recording, boom, we're gonna go down to another area. See what's what. Cause you break my borders down I feel the rush of the energy Intoxicated feelings coming over me And so I really need you, need you now My head is spinning and big losing in my mind Heart is racing, need it all out of time No more chasing, I really need you here tonight One more rush, just let it be One more touch, you need to say Good morning, day two in Las Vegas. So we're headed out. Good morning, Shauna. Good morning. So Ooh. we are. It stinks out here. A little stinky. Ooh. So we are headed out uh, for day two to kind of finish up what we weren't able to do yesterday because of the rain. Mm -hmm. But I uh, wanted to give you a little glimpse of how tight things are here. Where are we? Las Vegas RV Resort. Thousand trails. Thousand trails, yeah. Uh, pretty tight. As you can see, not a lot of Very space tight. here. Yeah. We'll get some shots on the way out. You know, it is what it is. The tight quarters. This is probably one of the tightest RV parks we've been in in terms of close proximity to your neighbor. Not digging it. Plus, airplane noise. I'm going to do a blog post on this particular park so that you can get more information if you're coming this way. And understandably, it's the only thousand trails in Nevada, so you may be, may not have any other options. So. Yeah, but between close quarters, uh, people general generally quiet. I mean, not not yeah. a lot of rowdiness, but right, right. Uh, between the close quarters, the airplane traffic, which has seemed to die down right now, helicopters, mm -hmm. police, cars, sirens. Yeah, not digging it. Anyway, let's head out to our first spot. Yeah. Put them as notes on my phone instead of writing you a book. Moments on ghosts in my mind. Ooh, so what do we have here? This looks like chocolate and white chocolate. What's Brian doing already? No, you can't put your hands in there. 
Love chocolate. I know I do. It is my Achilles heel. It's one of the food groups, I believe. One of the four food groups: chocolate, chocolate milk, chocolate fudge, and chocolate candy. Chocolate candy. Thinking about you, take a shot. So we came here on a Sunday. There's no production on Sundays, but you know we're just kind of taking it self-guided tour along the, the assembly, not the assembly line, the manufacturing well, kind of, line. Yeah, manufacturing yeah. assembly line. I guess it could be assembly line because they were making things in a certain order mm -hmm. and putting it together. And, Just leave it, but I can help it. In ten years down the road, I'll still be sitting on the floor, writing about you, writing about you, lines about me. Ethylene Chocolate Factory Tour was a hit. Mm -hmm. Spent a small fortune in chocolates. Chocolate? On chocolates. Mm. <laughs> so we are now in the Cactus Garden, which is. Um, I guess an attachment, if you will, of the chocolate factory. So if you're ever in town and you want to kind of see a really cool variation of all of the desert cactus and plants and trees and stuff, uh, come over here and check this out. It's pretty neat. Lots of variety. Wildlife running through and flying through. Birds and airplanes. Yeah, and apparently they decorate this botanical garden each year for the different holidays. So they just right. finished Valentine's Day, but it was gorgeous down here. Probably just leave it, but I can help it. And ten years down the road, I still be sitting on the floor writing about you, writing about you. Lines about midnight cut eyes and the color of your eyes. Thinking about you, thinking about you. Take a shot. Standing by a Joshua tree, I think maybe a lot of people have heard about Joshua trees. We just kind of learned something new about mm -hmm. them. Yeah, who knew? First of all, the Joshua tree is fairly native to the Mojave area. And the reason that there are so many clustered in an area is that their seeds were spread through the dung of sloths. Now probably, yeah, back in the days of the dinosaur, probably the giant desert sloths or whatever kind of sloths were out there. Of course, Mojave Desert had to have been a desert sloth. Drunk on somebody else's lines They come to me in words, no I can help it Should probably just leave it, but I can help it And ten years down the road, I'll still be sitting on the floor Writing about you That's an awesome skeleton right there.
Next stop. Springs Preserve. <laughs> this is a place we've never been to, so I'm not quite sure what to expect, but I'm sure they'll have some interesting stuff here. So there's a lot of paid and free things. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do the free things as much as possible. Right, and, and it was highly recommended by locals, so. Let's check out all of these covered areas here. Solar panels. a bit more about the Springs Preserve and there actually is an admission fee that we were not aware of. It's $18.95 per person. I think that's for adults. Yeah. Not quite sure what it is for children, but I have to tell you, if we had more time and we were more prepared, this is an awesome place to come uh, to bring your family. There Definitely. were tons of children here. And what kind of stuff? What kind of interactive yeah. exhibits? And oh my gosh, interactive exhibits. There are museums here. Um, there are shows that you can catch. There is a desert living center, botanical gardens. Um, there are little shows that you can pay extra for, but it it's all it revolves around the desert southwest and that theme, animals, plants, all kinds of and stuff. And it's also home to the Nevada State Museum just up mm, the way here. They have quite a few trails that you can take. Um, they have a cafe. Is there anything that I missed? There's a lot going on here. Definitely one of those hidden gems. It's not what you would think of when you come to Las Vegas and it's another place where the locals said you've got to go. Unfortunately for us, we just don't have enough time to explore this entire park. So we ducked into this little kind of a, a walkway area. It's kind of nice how they have it tucked away here in the corner. So we're gonna tickle your brain with a little bit of trivia. Those of you who live in Las Vegas probably know the answer to this. Trivia question one. Where is the birthplace of Las Vegas? Trivia question number two. Why is it considered the birthplace of Las Vegas? <laughs> 